Hey everybody, I'm back. Yeah, actually in a hurry because I'm gonna go to get a spray tan so I'm not this chicken white. I have a photo shoot tomorrow. Yeah, we go for the natural look. Workout. <laughs> <laughs> Stationary lunch. And what I see and mistake people do is that they're standing with a very short stance. And now when you go forward here, um, you see that the knee is gonna travel this way. You see it's way over the toe. And my back is round and there's no glute sticking out like this. So what you wanna do is just to get stronger legs, is make sure your, your hips are square and stick out your butt and a longer stride. So longer stride, can I get in the picture? And look here, when I go down, look at the shape. It's very like angular like this. So chest out, you're gonna go like that. And I like to go all the way down until my knee almost like hits the ground and just touching it. <laughs> Goose is coming. But if you have problems with your knee, it's a lot better to do a small move. Small move than do nothing at all. So why should you do uh, one leg moves? It's because you always have one stronger side than the other. And if you just train squats, you're gonna always uh, emphasize one leg at a time. So that's why you wanna do that. If we see it from the front, um, if you see your knee go like this as you go down, it tells that you are in stable on the stabilizing muscle here usually, and the glute medius. Glute medius and this vastus medialis, which is the quad inside here, the teardrop muscle, um, those two help the leg be going in the right direction like this, instead of going like that. So, 